Hi guys. I'm back here again on a little bit of a sensitive subject over these repops. This is a 2020. Um, and my thing is this. No disrespect for the Schwing guys that spend the money on the real bikes, the 60s and 70s. Uh, Schwinn's Stingrays um, I think they're awesome I think they're great bikes um, however um, no disrespect for you know for you guys I think you guys holding it down great Schwinn bike is a icon and it's Americana in my opinion um, it's a bike that us mostly Gen X's grew up loving it was the bike, the go-to bike. When you were a kid, if you had a Schwinn, I mean, you were, you were, you know, up here, you know. Um, and they were like, they were our our stunt bikes. Uh, you know, we used to wheelie and ramp and do crazy stuff on them. I, uh, you know, I've done some crazy stuff. I've gotten a lot of shin smacks from the pedals and chains pops and you know ball crunchers on the uh yeah well, you know been there done that um and and i loved it they, they were great bikes they're not taking anything away from the 60 70 bikes because those were the originals those are the 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 bike that really did it for schwinn and I love them. I I, I, I have a pea picker. It's upstairs. Um, uh, we're not going to get into that right now. This video is more about these repops. This is the 2020. They made them in 99, the Walmart bikes. Um, they'll have a Springer in the front. This one obviously doesn't have the Springer. It has a fork. Um, and this is a fenderless. doesn't have any fenders. And it doesn't have any gears. However, these bikes, these 2020 bikes, have a advantage over all other Schwinn bikes. And I, I know some of you are like saying right now, man, are you crazy? No, it ain't no way. It, this bike actually does have an advantage. And this the advantage of this bike is... The weight, it doesn't weigh 40 pounds, like, you know, 40, 50 pounds, like these old Schwinn's. Like, I can pick this bike up. doesn't weigh anything. You know? So, and the reason being is it comes with aluminum wheels. I think that's a great feature. Um, you can see them in here real good. That's a lot of weight save right there. And it's a sturdy bike. It's not It's not a piece of junk. It's very sturdy. Um, it's just overall more lighter, easier to pedal. Uh, it still has the big crank. Rocket. So that's a major help. Um, I'm not sure how many teeth that that is, but these bikes here, man, they're not they're not bad. Now you could get these bikes back in 2020 for 189 bucks or 125. Some people say they bought them for 125. You can't buy them for that anymore. These bikes now are about 650 bucks. If you don't believe me, go ahead and Google it. They do sell them currently. They are expensive. Um, however, these are much lighter than the, than the other ones. Now, I have a... I'm not to talk about this Manta Ray that I have back here, but it has the front end that these Schwinn bikes come with. See, this one has a fork. Um, the Walmart bike 
the uh, $600, $700 bike comes with this front end, and it's heavy. Like, I can't, I probably can't pick up that Manta Ray like I picked this up just now. There's probably easy 20 pound difference between these two bikes. Obviously, that's got a four inch wheel and things of that nature, but the comparison is in the front end. That front end comes on this, making it much heavier, and it'll have metal wheels, not the aluminum ones. So, like I said, these things are like super light, super, super lightweight. Like, they're no. Um, that's the advantage. Now, the way you can tell these repops for anybody that has questions is you know, that's a giveaway. The originals have a bolt. Um, this also is a giveaway. The welds around the neck. Schwinn's Stingrays did not come with these tubes welded here. They were forged. And they'll have like a U right here. They won't be squared off like this. It'll be a U. You can tell that right away. Repop. Repop versus a real one. Um, also, the repops did not have a vid number on the neck. Anywhere. So, that's another giveaway. The original Schwinn's have a VIN number on the neck, on the bottom of the crank, down there, and on the back of the axle, on the frame. Okay, so those are the real ones, which I love. Not taking anything away from them, but the advantage of this bike versus the original is that uh, this bike is a lot easier to pedal. It's uh, a lot lighter. Obviously, you know, I picked it up one-handed and I'm able to lob this bike across the street. The frame is a metal frame. It's not made cheap. The bike is very sturdy. Like, this bike is sturdy. It's not cheaply made. This bike is very sturdy. It will hold. It holds me on 250 pounds. And I ride this frequently. Um, and it's easy to pedal. Um, so that's the advantage over these repops over the originals. Um, I would buy them if they had them on Walmart again for 125, 189. I would buy a hundred of them. You know, you you know you, you you they're not on there for that price any longer. So. Just uh, some information on, you know, these Schwinn Repops, Repops being reproduction. Um, still great bike. I would definitely uh, buy them. I probably won't buy them for 700 bucks, but I would buy them for 125 or 189 I would be buy them in every color. I have a green one upstairs. I have a blue one now. Hopefully, I'll get me a black one. And then a red one as time goes along. Thank you all for watching. And like I said, there's no replacement for the originals. But uh, these ain't bad. Not bad at all. Y'all take care now.